Right. Then children, uh, you learn the addition of uh, mixed numbers and before that you learn addition of normal fractions. Now we are going to the second operation that is subtraction. Let's see now how to uh, subtract. First I use the proper fraction to subtract. Our first example, here we can see when you subtract this, the denominators are equal. So when denominators are equal, it is easier. So 11 subtract and 7, answer is 4 over 12. Then children 4 over 12 can be simplified. Uh, 4 and 12 are divisible by 4. So answer 4 by 4 is 1, 12 by 4 is 3. So we can uh, keep the answers in the simplest form. So when denominators are equal, denominator is that one and numerator is only subtracted. But our second example as you learn in grade uh, 6, you can see now denominators are different. But we know 3 and 9 means 3 can be converted to 9. So I write now a fraction, okay, equivalent to this 2 over 3 having denominator 9. So I want to change this 3 only. So to make that uh, 9 children, I multiply 3 by 3 and I do the same to the numerator. Now you can see 6 over 9 and 5 over 9 mean it is 1 over 9. So that is also very simple. Here I use what? Here we had to change only one denominator to the other. But our last one, 5 and 4 mean both denominators, you can see they are different. 5 cannot be converted to 4 or 4 cannot be converted to 5. Therefore, we want to get now LCM of 5 and 4. LCM of 5 and 4 mean here we can try by uh, 4 first. 5 is not divisible and here 1. Then by 5 means 1. 1. So 4 into 5 is LCM. So it is then 20. As it is 20 children, uh, 5 here. How can you now get 20? 5 is multiplied by 4 to make 20. So 4 by 4. Then 4 is multiplied by 5 to make 20, so 3 into 4. Denominator is now okay, it is 20. 4 into 4 is 16 and 3 into 5 is 15. So denominator 20, 16 minus 15 is 1. So when both are unequal, there using the LCM knowledge, this one, you can get the common denominator. So that change these denominators and you can simplify there the numerators. So these are then subtraction of what uh, proper fractions. Now uh, as you know the addition of proper subtraction of proper fraction, let's see now finally what subtraction of mixed numbers. Here also there are two types of mixed numbers. Some mixed numbers have got equal denominators and the other have got different denominators. Let's take these uh, two types okay. Okay uh, I have taken this example here you can see denominators are different, uh, equal. Then method one. So you know when you do this one, uh, the method, the first method is here, we have to separate this one, okay, and you have to separate. And here, there is a mistake children, if you do not use a bracket here, you will see these should be subtracted but these should be added. Therefore, this bracket is compulsory when you expand this mixed number, okay. Now we can see 2 and 7 over 12. Here negative 1 and this is also negative, okay. You can see these are negative. Now these should be subtracted. 2 minus 1. The other, you can see, these should be subtracted. 7 over 12 and 5 over 12. Now here 2 minus 1 means 1. 7 over 12 minus 5 over 12 means denominator is 12, it is okay. And here 2. Finally we can collect these together, 1 and 2 over 12 is the answer. These 2 and 12 can be simplified. These are divisible by 2 means 1 over 6. So that's the final answer for this problem. But here, here you can see uh, if you did not use this bracket, you cannot show these as subtraction. Therefore, the first method is somewhat difficult with subtraction. Therefore, better to use the second method as addition. And here the second method children, 2 and 7 over 12, and 1 and 5 over 12 it is easier. You have to convert this to improper. 12 to 2 you know 24. 24 and this 7 is 31 over 12. And this is 12 to 1, 12 and 5. 19, oh no, 17 over 12. Now denominators are equal, numerators can be subtracted. What is the answer children? 31 minus 
17 means 14. 14 over 12. So 14 over 12 can be simplified before writing that as a mixed number. So we know these are divisible by 2. Okay. So answer is what children? 7 over 6. This 7 over 6 can be written as a mixed number. How many 6s in 7? It is 1. 1 into 6 is 6 in remaining 1. So this 1 is the whole number. Denominator is 6 there. Remainder is 1. So this way the given uh, two mixed numbers have an equal denominators. I converted first to improper, then I subtracted. Finally, I kept the answer as a mixed number. So this method is easier to follow. So you can see both methods uh, have given the same marks. Okay. So you can train both methods, but second method is better with these uh, problems. So let's see now what different denominators subtraction of. Uh, mixed numbers with different denominators. Here I use the second method only for it. Okay. I have taken this example. You can see now 4, 6. Okay. Then uh, the method I told you the second method. Second method means convert these to improper. 4 into 3, 12. 12 and 1, 13 over 4 minus 6 into 2, 12. 12 and 1, 13 over 6. Okay. Now uh, we want to get least common multiple of 6 and 4. So 6 and 4 LCM that is here we can try by 2, 2, 6 divisible by 2 it is 3. Again I try by 2 so 1 not divisible. Now by 3 1 and 1. So 2 into 2 into 3 it is what? 12. Okay. So that is our LCM. Now apply that LCM to get the answers. So 4 to make 12 multiply 4 by 3 and 13 also by 3. To make 6, 12, multiply 6 by 12, so uh, 6 by 2 and 13 also by 2. Then 13, 3, 39 minus 13 to 2 is 26. So answer now 30, uh, 39 minus 26 means 30. So 13 over 12. So we want to divide now 13 by 12. How many 12s in 13? It is 1. Remain in 1. That means this 13 over 12 as a mixed number number of 12 in 13 is 1 remaining 1 so 1 and 1 more 12 so this way the given mixed numbers can be subtracted by converting them to improper fraction forms okay now uh, you have covered then the last part of your uh, chapter 10 okay related to the fractions you learn all the things there